Thanks for joining us today at Wallatopia. We appreciate you joining us as always. If you'd like a more interactive method to finding your next wallet, then I recommend going to explore.wallatopia.info. Great little way, filters, different methods of uh, drilling down to your next wallet. We've reviewed a few wallets from the Frenchie company, and the design creativity in their Speed product line is really impressive. Now today, we're looking at their Speed Card 2.0, which is a design departure from their traditional patterns. So let's get into it. As we know, with all Frenchie products, they come in a very impressive packaging and uh, if you've not experienced one of those before let me show you we remove this band here and it becomes an experience remember when you were a youth and you had a pop-up book well this is similar to that you open this up it provides a great uh, introduction the Frenchie family and you oh it didn't work it must have already fallen out all right well what happens is that this is here and it pops up so that kind of gives you a presentation method of the wallet. So that's all right, we'll take that out. That was really anticlimactic. I'm sorry about that. So we'll set that aside and pull the wallet out. Uh, the only material it's made in is this carbon fiber, which we'll talk about as well as this Italian leather. And it's a uh, very, very thin. Now, if we get into the particulars, you can kind of see here that we have Card inserts. This pocket holds three. Great. This next one. This pocket holds three cards. Excellent. And I think I can guess what the next one's going to be. Three cards. Let's see. Three cards. Amazing. All right. So it's sewn halfway through here in the bottom and on the top. We have an insert area here, nice carbon fiber. Look at the sewing. It's black, makes it a little, diffi little difficult to see here, but still fun to look at nonetheless. These plastic pieces are attached to the back of each of these. I'm going to take that back. They're not. Oh. Must be over here where it's sewn. They're right there. Okay. We have three of them that come out. Fascinating. Now another feature review of the SpeedCard Wallet 2.0. One of the more clever designs we've seen in wallets in a long time, the uh, SpeedCard 2.0 has these three independent card holders here. And each one, one, two, and three, can hold up to three cards. With that, uh, they do move independent of each other that are connected back here, right back in the back, if we can get a good look here, into a, for, with a single piece of material. And you can see here that each of these plastic cards is sewn in the back here, which leaves this open to us right here. So you have cards that can come in here and cards on the back of it that can go in there as well. So there's methods on both sides of this plastic on each of the three to be able to put cards into it. And of course you can pull it out and then it goes back in. So that's a real interesting thing with this and how it functions. And then of course in between they say, or in the front, is where you can put cash folded once or twice depending on it and store it there. When you want your cards, pull it out, grab the one you want, put it back in. A bit clever. And that's a review of the features of the Frenchie Speed Card 2.0. Now remember, Wallatopia is where you go when you want to know anything and everything there is about the world of wallets. So now let's get into the card and cash insertion test. As you saw, I got six cards in there, two in each of these slots that just fan out really nicely here, if you look at it, as well as, uh, I think it was you know, two slips of cash here folded in thirds. You know, I hate folding it, but you gotta do it in either thirds or half, or twice, sorry, to get in there and make it work. Now, from a minimalist perspective, I think four cards, again, six is reasonable, but nine, and nine is what you can do. That's, that's uh, we got six in here, so you'd be adding one more card in each of these slots to get to your nine, and, and it would work just fine. 
and you can separate them from the front and the back. Remember, I didn't put any cards in the back here, so you could take a card, put it here in the back, and kind of separate them up from front to back in each of these particular little pockets. So that nine cards is really the maximum for this, which isn't a bad number, honestly, for how small this is. Now, it is made in Colombia using Italian leather and CX6 carbon fiber. That's the same carbon fiber used by the world's top hypercar manufacturers. The, the carbon fiber itself is 0.33 millimeters thick, which provides really fantastic capabilities and thinness. Really, the carbon fiber is used by other manufacturers and designers such as Tumi. Now, let's look at the interior of this a bit. As I showed you, it's a wall that you fanned down. So, the each of these pockets are attached to a piece of material back here, and it's really clever so that you can just push it back in. When you want your cards, you can pull this out. Let's say you want uh, something in the middle here. So you grab that card, pull it out, just put it back in. It works really well. You can't pull it up. I mean, that's not the function. The function is really to grab from the top here. That's why we have this cut right here and pull them out and then down. Grab the card you want, push them back in. It's uh, it's just clever because it's so different from what we've seen in the past. Now there is RFID blocking on it. I know, I know. Uh, but you know, it, it is kind of a waste of millimeters, honestly, is what it is. But I, I really prefer, I don't prefer it. But uh, this carbon fiber really is nice. Now the pricing on this is $98. That's right, $98 for this. Now, from a measurement perspective, it's four by 2.4 by 0.12, and it weighs 19 grams. That's the carbon fiber in here. Very, very light and impressive weight. This is a clever design, like I've said several times. I'm impressed with the thought that went into this and really the usability thinking, the user experience of the capabilities in here. That design was impressive too. Now, I still believe cash was a second thought while it works folded. I'm sure they could have designed a different way because this is definitely a card wallet. It's the speed card, not not speed cash. And uh, so from that perspective, I would really realize that you would have one or two pieces of cash, but primarily this is four cards. Now let's get into the final score. For quality of four, price of two, features of three, and usability of four with perception of five. I give that due to the ingenuity of the design. I just good thinking went into this. That gives us a final score of 37 out of 50. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate you being here. Please subscribe. 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 Uh, I think it always helps me for sure, but uh, you'll always get notified. And we'll see you in the next review. Thanks. Bye.